How did Earth get its name? Whether you call our planet the Earth, the world or a terrestrial body, all of these names have an origin story deep in history. Like many names of solar system objects, Earth's original name or is long lost to history. Anglo-Saxon is a modern term to refer to a cultural group who lived within modern-day England and Wales shortly after the Roman Empire collapsed, between the 5th century and the Norman conquest of 1066. The identities of people were complex, and different individuals likely had different associations depending on their family, their history and the land upon which they lived, scientists say. Eartha, like the other names to represent our planet and other ones, must be understood in this context. Maps and the decisions behind how to project a globe as a flat area are another example of how context is important when talking about locations of Earth. The world is everything that contains us, humans, but it was quite obviously separate from the planets, Hovel said of Mundus. Mundus is reflected in the modern-day French term Mont, world, the Italian Mondo, the Spanish Mundo and the Portuguese Mundo, among other Romance language ancestors of Latin. The Roman author Pliny the Elder, Gaius Plinius Secundus, who wrote a large set of volumes on natural history in the first century, used Mundus quite a bit in his observations, Hovel said. It is also from Pliny that we get a lot of the terminology used to name planets through the International Astronomical Union, although each culture has its own traditions and monikers. The tradition of planet naming used by the Romans dates as far back as the Babylonians at least. Babylonia was a complex state in parts of modern-day Iraq and Syria best remembered for its king, Hammurabi, who today is closely associated with a law code created under his reign. This allowed for a goddess of love from Babylonia, Ishtar, to become Aphrodite under the Greeks and Venus under the Romans, for example. The Greek term for planets means something like wandering ones or wanderer, according to the Smithsonian National Air and Space Museum. The Romans gave these planets names based on how they appeared to the naked eye in the sky, centuries before telescopes were available. Venus is both a morning and an evening star, and the Romans sometimes used different names to reflect the planet's differing attributes. Pliny the Elder sometimes called Mercury by another god's name, Apollo, because Apollo was closely associated with the sun, Hovel said. The planet named after Venus, whose associations include the goddess of love, was sometimes called Lucifer, the light bringer, light is lux in Latin. The Romans, Hovel said, understood Venus rises in the morning or the evening, but the planet's name could change depending on the attributes on display. Jupiter's bright appearance was associated with the king of the gods, and Saturn, who came after Jupiter in the geocentric model, is Jupiter's father under Roman mythology, which again borrows from older traditions, Hovel said. Incidentally, the people who named Uranus, Neptune and Pluto centuries later, in the early telescopic age, tried to carry on this tradition of godly associations to be consistent with how the Romans did it. For example, Uranus was almost named after George III when its discoverer, German-born British astronomer William Herschel, sought a way to thank his financial backer, according to NASA. Thank you for watching Miko Media powered by Miko TV.